What is going on YouTube? It's your boy BT from It's BT's World. Okay, we've got the phone sim unlocked. We got the phone rooted. We got a custom recovery thrown on there. The only thing left to do now, custom ROM. This is where the magic happens, guys. This is this is what we've been doing almost everything else for. The sim unlock, that's one thing. But this is where you get, really get control of your phone, okay? Obviously, Samsung Note 2, AT&T version, same phone I've been working on the other three videos. I think it's three videos. Um, we're going to go ahead and load up a custom ROM. I've got, I've downloaded the ROM. We'll put the links in, the shout-outs, all that to all those guys that work hard on this stuff for us. That'll be in the show notes, the comments, uh, the description below, I guess it is. Um, sorry, it's late. But... Um, what we're going to do is uh, go to our apps. We're going to open Goo Manager. It's an application we downloaded uh, in the last video. And we're going to reboot into recovery. We're going to say yes. And it's going to shut down and restart in recovery mode. Once this comes up, the first thing I'm going to do, guys, is uh, make a backup. Okay, so uh, we're going to go ahead and click on backup. I'm going to set a backup name. We're going to call this one stock. And we're going to put it on the external SD card in this case. Maybe, maybe not. It's not letting me. Oh, there it goes. So, I think that's all we need. Swipe to back up. Boom. Back up starting. Always a good idea to back up everything, guys, in case you have a problem um, with the ROM. You don't like it. Whatever you want to go back to the way things were. You got it right here. This is going to take a little bit of time. Um, so I'm going to pause the video and I'll start it back up uh, once we get this uh, backup done. Alright guys, we have got the backup complete. A successful backup. Once that's completed, we're going to reboot the system. Just to clean up any loose ends before we continue. We're going to be loading... Uh, Clean ROM on the phone. That's from scottsroms.com. Big shout out to Scott's ROMs. Um, like I said, these guys do all the work, make it easy for us. So, once again, we're going to go back into Goo Manager. Once again, we're going to reboot to recovery. Scott's ROMs uh, recommends that you uh, do a factory reset before you flash this ROM. Um, so that's what we're going to do next. Um, it's my first time messing with uh, Twerp, so there it is. It's under wipe. So. Once your uh, twerp comes up here, just hit wipe and do factory reset. It's going to wipe all the user data, the cache, all the apps you've downloaded, everything you got on there. But that's no big deal. We'll get that stuff back. You can always re-download your apps and all that jazz. So That's done, so we're going to go back, back again, back to the main menu for twerp. And... We are going to Okay, I guess it's doing its thing still.
Pausing the video again, guys. Sorry. Okay, guys. Like I said, I just I pushed this little button right here in the middle that brought up this screen, kind of threw me for a loop. This is really the first time I'm using this software, so or this recovery. But uh, I figured out if you just push it again, it goes back to the menu. That's what we need to do. All right, we're gonna install. Um, we're on the external SD card. I've already put the uh, clean ROM on there. It's clean ROM. 3.0.1 just select that get a little verbiage here about what it's going to do and we will swipe to confirm the flash and there it goes it's flashing the file We are about to flash Clean ROM for the Samsung Galaxy Note 2 version 3.0, author Scott, released 12 9 2012. Next to continue. Okay, you got an option here on which launcher we want to use. I'm going to keep my phone basically stock, so I'm going to use the TouchWiz stock launcher. Uh, it works with all the widgets, just what was on the phone before we did this. I want it just the same. I just want to get rid of the bloat. That's all I'm trying to do right here. So, next on that. Uh, which file manager do you want? Um, I'm going to go with ES File Manager. I've used it for years. Very familiar with it. You can keep the stock file manager if you want. Um, but I'm going to go with ES. Uh, it's asking me if I want my AT&T or AT&T Visual Voicemail. Even though this is an AT&T phone, I am not an AT&T customer. So I do not need either of those. I'm going to leave both of those check boxes open. Uh, just some more options here. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba, Chrome. Why not? Whoa. Sorry, my tripod here is acting up. We got Chrome selected, Street View for Maps. Yeah, why not? Travel. Sometimes that comes in handy. Uh, just the Samsung apps, all share, keys, uh, vacuum weather, Whoa. sorry guys. tripod set up here. I want to shoot another video showing you how I do this. The camera I'm using for these videos is the lovely iPhone 4 YouTube camera. <laughs> this is an old YouTube or an old iPhone 4 I had laying around. Shoots decent video. One of the things that it does do well. Or okay. So um, I think I'm good with that. Ad blocker, Dropbox, Polaris Office, might as well. Flash. I'm going to install Flash later, separately. Um, I did have it working earlier. Um, I'm not going to let the ROM do it, though. And there we go. It's doing its thing. So, we'll let this thing run. I'm going to pause the, f the camera, fix my tripod setup. And uh, when it gets close to being done, we'll fire back up and uh, continue the video. When this gets done, it's going to reboot. Um, everything in the uh, phone is going to be gone. It's going to be just like a brand new phone. going to have to enter my... Google name and password and blah 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 but then uh, 
you know, re-download the, the apps that I use. Just got the phone, so I didn't have a whole lot on it yet, but, uh, we will get it done. So, put you on pause for now.